This video is going to show you how to create a heat map. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open a map. All right, once our map is opened, we'll want to add a data set to the map. If you've already got one, then the next step you're going to do is click here on this drop down menu and then select heat map. So once the light box is open, the first thing we're going to want to do is select how we're going to apply the heat. So we have two different options, area around pins, which is going to show us high density pin clusters, or we can choose overlapping radius areas, which is going to show us high density areas themselves. So we're going to choose the area around the pins. Okay, and then we're going to set the size, so I'm going to have it be 10 miles. And then the next thing we do is determine what we're going to use to color the heat map. So we can either use location density, which is just the sheer number of pins in a specific location, or we can use data set values. So I'm going to click here on the data set values, and then I'm going to select any of the quantitative columns from my spreadsheet, and I'm going to do annual sales. And then down here we have styling options. So the first one is the opacity, so I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And then the second is blur, which is basically how much we're going to blend the colors together. So I'm going to turn that all the way up to 100%. Uh, then the next one is fade edges, which just means that as it gets closer to the edge, the opacity will decrease. And then we can have a legend visible as well. So I'll keep those two checked. And then I'll click OK. And there you go. Now we can easily see where our high density areas are with sales. And that's how easy it is to create a heat map using MapLine.